We've also added things like the web map tile service. So you might look at that and say, I think I've heard of that and we've done that a while. Well, first off, if you notice up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that it is in technology preview. Um, just so you know, if you go looking for it, I don't remember if it's in 15.2 or not, but in any event, uh, it is a technology preview web map tile service. There is something very similar to it, uh, WMS, web map service, which has been around for MicroStation for a number of years. Uh, give you the 20 second history of the difference between the two and why they're different. Back in the late 90s, a group called the OGC, the Open Geospatial Consortium, okay, in the late 90s, they started developing a lot of, of standards, like CAD standards for web mapping, uh, you know, and it's probably one of the oldest standards that's out there, and it's, it's used for web mapping, for imagery and that kind of thing. However, the properties of it, you know, it was built in the late 90s, right? The properties of that standard at in now in 2021 are a little slow and difficult to use because when you attach a raster image using WMS, it has to attach the whole image, right? So you're pulling large amounts of data. You might be zoomed into a really small area, but if that image is the, uh, you know, the, the size of all of Europe and you're are, are only at a street corner, uh, it's going to take a while to process all that, that data. And each time you change your view, zoom in, zoom out, you pan, you fit, and so on, it requests a lot of data. Not saying it's going to pull the whole image each time, but, you know, you get the idea. It's a lot of data and it can be slow and you're really dependent upon, you know, your connection. To overcome all this, okay, one of the newer features is the more simpler uh, WMTS, uh, less options and so on that are part of it. Uh, that's been added to, to MicroStation. In fact, we can tempt fate. I was having some issues with this earlier, but it's a little later in my time, so we might be able to sneak this by and just sort of show it to you. I think I was running into um, some bandwidth issues, so let's jump in and take a look at it and even if it doesn't display all that well we can at least talk about it so so for example i have one already attached uh, i'm going to fit the view so you can see if you recognize the you know geometry or excuse me the uh, the area this is the netherlands uh, i'm going to zoom in towards the city of eindhoven so if i start to zoom in you can see i've got country borders that are there i've got primary roads i get the gray areas that represent the urban areas some of the greener areas represent the forested areas and as i start to zoom in you'll start to see more data display now secondary roads i go in a little more you start to see the more forested areas you start to see the neighborhood names that weren't available zoom in a little more we start to see more secondary data that's there microstation is only loading just what it needs so for example we finally get down into an area like this where it's you know just the streets and we can see the park uh, it even shows things like uh, traffic conditions stoplights and so on okay so much faster way if we had tried that with the with a with a uh, an image of the entire area you know that was shown on that and tried to zoom in it would have taken quite a bit of time. This is much, much faster. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.